Welcome to St. Joseph Church. A friendly reminder, please remember to turn off your phones or put them on silent mode before we begin our celebration. Thank you. Today is the second Sunday of Advent and also the second annual Diocesan Simbanga B Commission. Welcome one another, St. Paul commands us, as Christ welcomed you. Indeed, the Lord welcomes us here each Sunday as we gather together to celebrate the Eucharist. But let us not forget the first part, that we are also called to welcome one another. Moreover, as Paul welcomed Gentiles and the wolf became a guest of the Lamb, we are called to welcome those who are not like us. Those coming from other cultures, speaking other languages, or expressing their viewpoints. This rite of commissioning sends us to our respective parishes to be agents of God's grace as we invite all to celebrate the gift of our faith. Culture and tradition with a celebration of symbolism. May we empower ourselves to prepare for the coming of our Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us. Let us all stand and celebrate the Eucharist.
Pemuda pembahasa Ibuna Sa'inat di Profeta Isaias Sa araw na yun Salai di Jesse Ay dinitaw ang isang hari Tulad ng suklin Mula sa isang tuon Mananahan Sa kanya ang spirito Ng Panginoon Dibigyan siya Ng katalinuhan at pagkaunawa Ng kaalaman At kapangyarihan ng tarunungan at takot sa Panginoon. Kagalakan niya ang tumalima sa Panginoon. Hindi siya kahato ayon sa nakikita o batay sa narinig sa iba. Bibigyan niya ng katarungan ang mga lukha. Ipagtatanggol ang karapatan ng mga kawawa. Ang salita niya ay parang tungkod na ipapalo sa malulupit. Ang hatol niya ay kamatayan sa masasama. Katarungan at katapatan ang pahihiralin niya sa kanyang pamamahala. Maninirahan ang asong bubak sa piling ng kordero. Matutulog ang leopardo sa tabi ng batang kambing. Magsasama ang buya at ang batang milyon at ang mag-aalaga sa kanila ay mga batang pasli. Ang baka at ang osoy magkasamang manginginay ang mga anak nila magkakatabing matutulo. Kakain ng nabo ang milyon sa animo at toro. Maglalaro ang batang pasususuhin sa tabi ng lungga ng ahas. Hindi maaano ang bata kahit laruin ang ulubong. Walang mananakit o mamiminsala sa nasasaklaw ng banal na bundok sapagkat kung paano puno ng tubig ang karagatan naganap sa buong lupain ang pagkakilala sa Panginoon. Sa araw na yun, isisilang ang hari mula sa lahi ni Jesse ang magiging palatandaan para sa mga bansa. Ang mga bayat at tutungo sa banal na lungsod upang parangalan niya at magiging maningning ang kanyang lukutan. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
this pattern. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance, and do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance, but the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn. But the chaff will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The figure of John the Baptist is found in all four narratives of the Gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell the story of John the Baptist. Because he was a, a principal figure preparing the way for Jesus, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. The words of John speak to us today. He reminds us that we are preparing for the glorious coming of the Lord Jesus. We honor John not as a figure of the past, but as a reminder of who we are to be today. We continue to honor John by following his footsteps and preparing the way for the Lord Jesus, the coming glory. We are to be like John the Baptist, preparing ourselves and others for the second coming of Christ. Our celebrations of Sivan Rabi or Posadas and culminating in the great feast of Christmas is not just a matter of nostalgia. We look with hope to the coming of Christ that all of our activities of the church are not to uh, root it just in the past, but the past helps us to cast our gaze into the future, and to look with longing for the coming of Christ, and to live preparing ourselves for his coming in glory. John the Baptist practiced what he preached. The gospel portrayed him as an austere, simple man. He dressed in humble attire. He nourished himself only with locusts and wild honey. I, I don't think the reception afterwards will <laughs> He presented himself as completely detached from the world and totally dependent on what God provided. Clothing made of camel's hair and leather, food gleaned directly from nature. 
His life, the life of John the Baptist, was completely in God's hands. And he waited for the coming of God's dominion of the world. He preached what he lived. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist, as the gospel said, was the fulfillment of the passage from the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his path. John the Baptist prepared for the first coming of Christ. And he is the model of the disciples of Jesus who prepare for his second coming of the Lord. We should be a voice crying out. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. The act of the season is not just the commemoration of the first coming of Christ. The hope and the joy of this season awakens in us a desire for the second coming of Christ. And like John, we are to place ourselves day by day in the hands of God and to let the Lord's dominion, to let his power be the power and the wisdom that guides our lives. The Lord Jesus, who humbly came wrapped in swaddling clothes and laid in the manger, will come again in glory. The baptizer's words to the Sadducees and the Pharisees are also directed to us. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the shaft he will burn with a bunch of fire. The first coming of the Lord Jesus was unexpected, unimaginable. So much so that the people of Bethlehem would not give him shelter when he was born in the outskirts of town in a manger. He was the amazing shoot that sprouted from the stump of Jesse in that little town of Bethlehem. For his second coming, we know who to expect. Jesus, who died on the cross of Calvary and was raised from the dead, will return in glory. And he has chosen us to be his followers, his followers, and to look for him and prepare for him until he comes in glory. Like John the Baptist, who preceded him in his first coming, we are called to prepare the way for the second coming. John the Baptist seldom referred to himself. He always pointed to the coming of the Messiah. That one greater than I, mightier than I, will come out with me. And I am not worthy to untie his sandals. The disciples of Jesus should do the same. We do not point to ourselves. Our life as a church is not about us, it's about all of our activities. Everything we do must point to Christ. All that we say and all that we do should lead others to Christ. That is why the church exists. To fulfill our mission, we must first know the Lord Jesus so that we can show him to others. There is another coming of Christ that helps us. Jesus comes to us now in mystery. When the Lord Jesus ascended to heaven after his death and resurrection, he did not leave us orphaned. With his ascension to heaven, Jesus united heaven with earth. 
in his mystical body, the church. He was the first born, the first one to be, uh, to be raised to the Father. And all the church is raised with him. The Lord Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. But he continues to abide with his disciples through the word and sacrament. And he continues his mission through the many works of mercy performed by the church. All this we do not on our own. But it's the power of the Lord Jesus who sits at the right hand of the Father and who will come in glory, who continues to work in mystery through each of us. In the Eucharist, especially, Jesus comes to us. He comes to us now. In the sacrifice of the Mass, we are in the company of the Lord. Here, in the celebration of the Lord's saving sacrifice, we are with the Lord. We are in communion with Him and He with us. Here, we are already before the throne of God. Here, the kingdom of God is at hand. And as we uh, take this opportunity to um, ask God's blessing on the work of all the Simbang Vadis that will take place, Simbang Vadis celebrations that will take place throughout the Diocese of Sacramento, we do that here in the Sufis, understanding that our work has to make the kingdom of God present and at hand for our brothers and sisters, to extend the power of the Eucharist, to bring the hope, the joy, the mercy of the Lord Jesus to others. Christmas season comes in this time of, of you know, long nights, and darkness, and, and for that reason, so many of the paroles, you know, are, are, uh, are, are with lights, uh, because that is uh, what Christ does. He brings light, brings light into our lives, and as a church, that we are to bring the light uh, uh, to others. So, uh, this is a very festive time, and I know it will be a lot of work for many, uh, many of, of your parish communities. But that let us not lose sight of it is connected to this work, the saving work that the Lord Jesus is with us, and that through all of our efforts to imitate the Lord's mercy and wisdom and power, that uh, we can indeed help others to know uh, what St. John, John the Baptist proclaimed, that the kingdom of God is at hand. point we're going to have the right of commissioning of the main coordinators from the different parishes so when your name the name of your parish is called please come forward Saint Basil Vallejo Saint Vincent Vallejo Saint Catherine Vallejo Holy Spirit Fairfield St. Mary's Vacaville, St. Joseph Vacaville, Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament, St. Isidore, Yuba City, Our Lady of Grace, West Sacramento, St. Paul, Sacramento, St. John Evangelist, also, St. John Evangelist. St. Giuliani, Rancho Cordova. Divine Mercy, Methodist, Sacramento. St. Clair, Roseville. Christ the King, Retreat Center, Citrus Heights. St. Charles Borromeo, Sacramento. St. Maria Borelli, Outgrove. 
Good Shepherd, help grow. Saint Joseph, help grow. My dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered to pray and ask God to send his blessing on all the coordinators who will lead the celebration of the nine days of the Novena of St. Bambabi in your respective parishes. And so I ask you all to pray with me as we invoke God's blessing on, on these coordinators of the coming Advent celebration. Lord, you renew the strength of all who wait upon you. May the blessing they long for be the strength of your faithful people so that they will never be in conflict with your will. Fill your faithful with your Holy Spirit that in serving others they may always be true to Christ our Lord and the Deeds and Redeemer. Renew their zeal and give them joy in their service for your church. May your blessing always prompt them give thanks for your favors. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear coordinators, you are now commissioned to do the work you have been that has been entrusted to you. Thank you. Please stand. Ikararagan tayo ti simbaan. Agbabawi tayo kadagiti basbaso tayo. Tapno ag uma ti panagbiag tayo iti kinaimbag. Ket iwaragawag iti sa malubungan nga asidegen ti pagaryan ti Diyos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayers. Para sa pagtunong, kagkaratan sa tinabag. As in sa magkaiwan na magkasararo bilang magkatarain sa si Espiritu Pagkadunungan, as in pagkasinarabutan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Nga anong spesiyahan tao, ngan iya kamutangan, asya hihingarto, han kanan kadoway han binomo. An bukid, nga rin kahaluag, nga punong hing kapuglihan, nga rin kapulihan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Para sa mga maluya o vulnerable sa panglawas, labi na sa mga immunocompromised o doon ay mga laigay na kahintang o balatian na itong kaitsuunan. Sa kanun ay panalitan unta sila. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Na sana Ini kami ni datang memegang ia tayo, ing pangawas ni santung Pablo, datang gaban tayo ing balang tau, pamamian kena kan kare kaluguran tam, ampo kare istangero, lalu nak keng panhong ini pamagatam, lalu tamu gilu keke tamu. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. ay espesyal na dasal at parasit ay ni aming kermina title. Lalo lang kung walay kapulisanan, sakit kong prerat bilay, satan na kita kay malikang ang daso, pag-asa na nato ng Diyos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord,
para sa pagdamo sa bukasyon sa pagkapari sa pagkamadre. Tagang aton pamatanon, magbukas ang ila tagipusuon sa pag-aksetar, pag-responde, sa pagtawag sa ginoo, sa pagtrabaho sa iya ulubusan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, para sa mga petisyong dinadalog natin sa Panginoon. Pasasalamat, Noriel and Regina's wedding anniversary, Regina Gonzalez's birthday, Manuel and Esmeralda Valencia, David and Epsilon, Virginia Bachiller Berdal, Caridad Ismael, Agustin family. Especial na intention, Estela Maracha, Aniceto Sanchez, Bolong, Nguyen, and Holden families, Virgilio and Mayli and Sina. Sa mga yumao, Rodolfo and Manita Fua, Luisa and Constancio Balio, Ignacio and Teofilo Corpus, Monica Bonifacio, Gurley Elaine Hatito, Antonio Maracha, Rosario Paule, Helen and Alex Bohon, Martin and Nancy Hawk, Rosaline Vinadon, Michael De Matei Viora Hart. Para sa mga sponsors, Ellie and Annie Acido, Pascual Family, Bolong Family, Rudy and Beth Bonifacio Family, Bem Cadiz, Sylvia Campomanes, Kapka Powder Family, Hilda de la Cruz, Lito and Liz Cruz Family, Ruth and Edgar Flores, Pete and Rose de la Cruz Family, Fe Gonzalez, Dan and Marisa Fua Family, Lynn and Robert Green Family, the Holy Spirit Prayer Group, Josephine Villanueva. The Lord's Flock Family, Loida and Aldeva. Vic and Dip Yadok Family, Rosalinda Pagurdon. Maniwat Paula Family, Jody and Mylene Perez Family, Noriel and Regina Payomayon family, Alan, Anna, and Andre Tirante, Maria Rabago, Dennis and Cora Ramos family, Tito and Lucy Samaniego, Aniceto and Rosalinda Sanchez family, Santiago family, Sabri Fried Chicken, Jess and Beth Velasco family, Pelayo and Venegas family. At para sa lahat ng ating mga kahilingan na ating pinugugkop sa ating mga puso at isipan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord,
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created. Rightly give you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an, an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm the faith and charity of Pilgrim Church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jaime, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops and all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, 
whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were blessed to you at their passing from this life, give kind of pittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, oh glory and honor is yours forever.
Yeah.